What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. As you guys saw in the intro, we have the original 2010, they're very large, legendary collection. So it's very hard to show these, but I have not just one, but I have two. So we're going to be opening these up. They have inside all six packs that you're used to from the regular legendary, like the newer ones from 2017. But these are the originals. They have slightly different print, print so they look a little bit different it's kind of weird i've never actually opened one of these on video so this is the first time we've done this it should be a lot of fun maybe we can get like a blue eyes pull or something awesome so let's open these up let's see what these god cards look like inside okay let's get into this thing and let's open it up we're gonna just slash it open there and let's see what these god cards look like so they are slightly different than the 2013 and 2017 collection. So if you guys don't know, Legendary Collection, this is the original. They have reprinted this in 2013 and the Game Board Edition. And then in 2017, they reprinted the Game Board Edition again. So they haven't had the Binder Edition since 2010. So this is pretty unique, but it is very similar to the um, Game Board Edition. So inside you have the, uh, the promos, as you can see, that thing is warped already. So they have these really cool things on the back where you can, you know, display stuff. But, uh, the warpage is real. We got ourselves a Pringle. That's pretty exciting. And then we have two more that we got to open up. It's very difficult because these things are absolutely massive. So um, you can pop this out like that. It's just plastic, so it's a little bit cheap. We got uh, not as Pringly on the Winged Dragon of Raw. Pretty, actually looks pretty good. It looks a lot better than the Game Board, I think. It's a lot darker. Okay, and finally we have the Obelisk. What is... Let me know in the comments, what is your favorite god card? Also, we do have a giveaway. I forgot to mention that. I'll be giving away this Tournament Pack 5 sealed. And all you have to do is like the video, be subscribed. Let me know your favorite god card. Let's get into the other promos. We also have Blue Eyes White Dragon, Dark Magician, and the Red Eyes, which is pretty cool. And then we have six packs, so check those out. Okay, so we are going to open this up. It's got like pages, so you can actually use it for uh, you know your card binder if you wanted to. Which is not the best binder ever, let's not lie, but... Oh my goodness! <laughs> Poor Red Eyes, he had a good run, but the 11 years were not good to him. The years have not been good to him. R.I.P. Red Eyes. <laughs> he had a good run. The other two cards appear to be okay. This one's definitely pring... Oh, never mind. That one's, that one's damaged too. So, uh, yeah, not the most ideal packaging for these promos, but uh, yeah, there they are. And then we have our pack. Is there any difference between these and the old packs versus the reprints? Yes, there is a difference. These are different from the originals. They have the red banner logo, Konami logo, which is also different from the reprints, which have the Konami outlined in red, I believe, or maybe it's white with red letters. I can't remember. So it's a different, it's a different logo. The cards inside look a little bit different. So let's see if we can tell the difference when we open them up. Okay, so let's get all these packs out. Let's get our binder out of the way. And then we I'm going to open this second one up real quick. Maybe if there's anything interesting, I'll show you guys. But if not, you know, I'm not going to, you know, just keep open that again. So you guys have seen. All right. Well, it looks like the uh, the promos definitely made it out a little bit better on this one. I'm going to at least do that little bit of a spoiler. All right. So we have the three um, promos look way better on the second one. So that's, that's a good sign. We're also going to do a mini battle. So we're going to do... Legendary Collection versus Legendary Collection. So right now we have six versus six on the packs. We're going to see which can pull better Legendary Collection 1 or Legendary Collection 2. That's a little confusing. They're both Legendary Collection 1. But this is the first one. That's the second one. Let's start opening. Let's see what we can get. Before we get started in the opening, I want to remind you guys about the Whatnot Pharaoh Servant 1st Edition 24 and 36 pack opening coming up tonight at 5 p.m. Central. We're also doing a Whatnot follower giveaway. I will be giving away... Thousand Eyes Restrict First Edition PSA 8 to one of my Whatnot followers. All you have to do is follow me on Whatnot. You don't even have to be on the live, but you should probably be there. It's going to be pretty epic, but that's where it will be announced. At the end of the live, I'm going to announce one winner for my followers list. You will get this absolutely free. You don't have to buy anything or anything. You just have to follow me on Whatnot. So go check it out. PSA 8 First Edition Thousand Eyes Restrict. It's going to be pretty epic. All right, now let's get into the mini battles. So we have Legendary Collection, the first one. We're going to start with Invasion of Chaos. You can also tell Yugi's hair looks a little bit different on this one than it does in the newest reprint pack. So kind of interesting. Let's see what we can do here. Can we pull the Black Luster Soldier, guys? One day it will happen. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you guys. We got a Hero Emerges. Very nice. We got a Cannonball Spear Shellfish. Awesome. Soul Tiger. I'm not sure where the rare is going to be. It might be after, it might be before the rare. I mean, the hollow, I mean. Amphibious Burgoth. Okay, so is it going to be after this? Destruction Ring. So maybe it's after the rare. Okay, we won't know yet. Neobug, self-destruct button. We got a Manju. 
We pulled a ton of these yesterday. If you guys did not see yesterday's video, it was insane. Go check it out. Super long. I, I stayed up to like 3 a.m. editing it, so go check it out. It was it was a pretty fun one. Manju with the 10,000 hands. That's a good pull. Okay, so we're going to have uh, the pulls versus pulls here. So we're going to go like this. All right, next pack, Invasion of Chaos again. So we got the uh, head-to-head -head battle straight up. Um, Manju versus, uh, let's see what they can get. Gale Lizard on the second Invasion of Chaos pack. Witch Doctor of Chaos. We got a hero emerges. Cannonball Spear Shellfish. We still don't know where the foil will be. Ultra Evolution Pill. You can see these cards look a little bit more original, but they're still a little reprinting. Curse Seal. Reprinting. <laughs> I don't know if that's a word. Okay, so Manju's got a slight lead for uh, the first Legendary Collection. Let's go into Dark Crisis. We could pull a Battle Scarred. We could pull the Exodian Necros. We could pull a lot of epic things. Let's see. We have a Checkmate who has been playing chess. Not me. I have not been playing. Really Eternal <laughs> eternal Rest. Maju Garzette. Agito. And a Sukiyomi. That's a good rare. Okay, I, I it could have been there. I still don't know. Guardian X Draw. Gaga Giga. So a good rare and a good common so far on the left side, but there are no foils pulled yet. So I think a 4 or $5 rare there. Dark Crisis. Let's go. Can we pull a foil now and take the lead? Because they are down uh, quite a bit now, about $8 worth. We got Ojama Trio, Maju Garzette, Archfiend's Roar, Pandemonium Watchbear, and Skill Drain. Oh, talk about a good rare. Wait, is it the next one? Little Wingard. Okay. That's a very good rare. So that actually might have like either tied it or taken the lead. This is always around an $8 to $10 rare. That's really, really good. Okay, this is turning into a real battle here. Yeah, okay. Let's see if we can actually get a foil here. Pharaoh Servant, Legendary Collection, the original Ele Legendary Collection. 11 years old at this point, which is insane to think about. Can we get a Jinzo? That'd be pretty crazy. We've got a Time Seal. Sword Hunter. Mr. Volcano, still have no idea where the, where the foil is going to be in these. Fairy Meteor Crush, so it is the fourth card. That is a super rare. How's it looking? It's looking uh, pretty warped here. You guys see this? That's very, oh my, it's like bent. It's literally bent. That is crazy. That is a very warped card. Oh my goodness. So we have a super rare. It's probably not worth a crazy amount, but it is a super rare. So it's something. Keys to tie. All right, very interesting. On to the next one. Fair Servant. So far, a very close bat. I don't think Fairy Meteor Crush really adds too much in terms of value, but it's like a you have a foil now. So it kind of adds something in terms of just having a foil. Okay, we've got a Solemn Wishes, Twin-Headed Fire Dragon, Overdrive, Inspection, and a Hayabusa Knight, very nice, Gradius, Cold Wave, Eye of Truth, and All-Seeing White Tiger. Okay, okay, this is, this is, uh, nobody's blowing, uh, blowing the other team out yet, it's, it's definitely a close one, coming down to the wire, might have a buzzer beater. We have a red archery girl. This is the spell ruler pack. So magic ruler changed in 2003. So this is well past then. So it's spell ruler. Kotodama. We got the Umiruka. And Maha Vilo. Let's see how this one is. Also very warped. It's not as like bent as the other one, but it's very warped. Another super rare. So I would say the left side is definitely ahead right now. Just because they have four good cards versus one. The value is probably not much past it, but it's definitely a little bit. Okay, let's see if the right side can match. Can we do it, guys? Which side are you voting for, left or right? At this point, it's looking like right's in trouble, but all they need is one big pull. So let me know in the comments. we got a Fire Kraken. Taylor of the Fickle. Performance of the Sword. Hamburger Recipe. And a Giant Rat. Okay, Minar. And a Queen Bird. Okay, not looking too good on the right one. Metal Raiders down to the final two, the big two. There's some big pulls in here, even in unlimited packs. Metal Raiders, we have a Deep Sea Shark, and of course, the legendary Pecanio Moth. Here we go. Grass Clown. Jinzo number seven. I would love to pull Jinzo. We already missed it, though. We did get the number seven. Yadokura. And Witch of the Black Forest. Cool. Larva. We got the cousin, baby. Let's go. And King of Yami Makai. Very nice. Very nice. We got the cousin. On to the next Metal Raiders pack. The right side needs something to fuel the comeback. They need something. Oh! Ho, ho! And talk about timely. The Pequeno Moth. Epic pull. That's going to go in the pile. We got a tremendous fire. 
Dragon Piper and Tainted Wisdom. We got a oh a Grande Moth. So in two packs we pulled the Legendary Pequeno Moth, the Daddy Grande Moth, Grande, and the Daddy Grande Moth and the Cousin. So what an amazing two packs right there. Kaminari attacking King of Yamimaka. Final two packs. This is a close battle, but the Pequeno is definitely helping out on the right side. Okay, no foils though on the right. Why Pequeno is not in a secret rare? I'm not sure. We have an Atatsumi Giant, the 13th Grave. Can we get a Blue Eyes White Dragon? Yurabi, Metabat, and a Stop Defense. Yeah, okay, so it's not in there. Wow, it, the right side might need a foil here. It depends on if you want to put Pequeno Moth. It's an auto win if you pull Pequeno Moth, so it's not really fair. So maybe we like throw Pequeno Moth out. The final LOB pack. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Or should it be an auto win just because they pulled it? Can we get something in the final pack? Book of Secret Arts. We've got a Metabat. Green Phantom King. And here we go. Oh, Larvis. Okay, Flame Ghost, Dark Gray, and Power of Kaishin. All right. So not the best pulls out of there. But we did, let's see, left side, you guys are going to have to let me know, pull two foils, which is pretty good, both supers though, a Tsukiyomi and a Maju, plus the Cousin Moth, so pretty cool. And then the right side, it was very limited, it only had a Skill Drain, it's the only good rare, well, and the Grande, of course, and then the Legendary Pequeno Moth, so you guys have to let me know in the comments, left or right, um, it wasn't wasn't a great pulls, but maybe next time we will get some better stuff. I th I'm thinking about doing a live tomorrow night, so let me know if you guys want to see that, I might do a live, I have... 100 Shining Victories packs I want to open for some Blue Eyes cards for my Blue Eyes deck. Don't tell anybody. And don't forget to check out Whatnot, the epic stream at 5 p.m. Central tonight. 60 First Edition Pharaoh Servant packs open. And the giveaway, where did I put it? Thousand Eyes Restrict. All you have to do is follow me on Whatnot. That's it. That's it. You could win. And that's it for this video. I will see you guys later. Peace. Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!